Question. Yes. Okay, so um, Islam uh, was connected with Ishmael in a question. But Islam is a sixth century religion, right? It, it arose in the sixth century after Muhammad. And Ishmael has nothing to do with Islam except that the Arabs were supposed to have adopted him. <laughs> Okay. okay, so right. why is it being connected to Ishmael? So it's true that Muhammad was born in the 6th century, he was born in the year 570. When he was 40 years old, his prophetic career began and it lasted for 23 years. In the Arabian Peninsula, a part of the world that God gave to the B'nai Ishmael, to the children of Ishmael. And although Arabs comprise less than 20% of Muslims in the world. Their holy book, the Quran, is written in Arabic, and it did emerge out of an Arabic crucible and an Arab culture. There's, that is undeniable. And in Indonesia, where there are, there are as many Muslims in Indonesia as there are Arabs in the world. Okay. Uh, they are reciting the Quran in Arabic. They might not understand what they're saying. They might not. And more frequently than not, they probably don't. And I think that many um, Muslim leaders regret that. But, um, but there is something very interesting about the B'nai Ishmael. We could talk about them for a moment. And that is that God made a covenant with the children of Ishmael. And out of him would come a great nation. Now, just as the survival of the Jewish people is astounding, I mean, there are only two biblical nations that are here today, the Jews and the, Ar and the Arabs, the Bnei Ishmael. There are no Vikings around today. The Vikings are gone. If you want to learn about them, you go to a library, you blow off the dust off a book and you read about them. That's it. They're, you didn't go to school with them. What is amazing is that for a very long time, from the time of Yishmael's death until the advent of Islam, all Muslims will tell you that the children of Yishmael were in a state of jahiliya. Jahiliya means stupidity or absence of knowledge without knowledge. But they knew that they were B'nai Ishmael. And they never lost that misora. It was preserved. That's an amazing thing. And then, according to Islamic tradition, of course, uh, Muhammad would begin a prophetic career in 610. And that would continue until 632. Uh, a, a, a prophetic career that would begin in in Mecca, and then end in Medina, where he's buried today. So I think, it's, I think the covenant that God made with the children of Ishmael is astounding that we could see with our eyes that it was preserved. And in one way, it's as miraculous as the covenant God made with the children of Isaac.